live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Happy Fat Tuesday, everybody. Can you believe it? It's March 1st, 2022. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. It's also Punchki Day for all my Polish peeps out there That's as well. Right. So many things to celebrate on this Tuesday, Courtney. Absolutely, including this great weather, right? Today on Houston Life, we're getting the scoop on Van Leeuwen ice cream. It's a perfect day for ice cream. This is the brand that really went viral after teaming up with Kraft to make mac and cheese ice cream. They have dozens of tasty flavors, three locations right here in Houston, and we're gonna learn how it all started. I can't wait to try even more of their flavors. Plus, Australia brothers Joel and Luke Smallbone, also known as For King and Country, we're gonna sit down with the guys ahead of their upcoming Rodeo Houston performance. It is happening, Courtney, this Thursday, March 3rd. Can't wait for that. Cult following by the way oh yeah major and we're back on the island at moody gardens this afternoon with more info on their spring break family fun packages all right but first let's check in with joe sam for a look at what he has coming up hey joe hey guys happy tuesday and happy fat tuesday to everyone out there i'm introducing you to a local fitness guru today that turned a horrible accident that happened to him when he was a younger kid into with the fuel that he needs to help inspire others that's all coming up but for right now we're going to send things back to you all right, Joe, thanks. All that coming up, but for now, let's get a check of your forecast. Another be beautiful day here in H-Town. Let's check in with Frank to see how long our spring-like temps are going to stick around. It's a great day to go to the rodeo. Uh, you know, rodeo, Mardi Gras, just hanging out. It really is, is about as perfect as it can get. Look at these blue skies out there from downtown right now. Our city cam showing a wonderful sky, not even a cloud out there. 70 degrees at Bush, Hobby, 73 Sugar Land. If you're at Mardi Gras in Galveston, it is 67 degrees. If you're going to get to the poles, you have plenty of time. Here's that forecast. And of course, it looks pretty good. Just make sure you get up there and do it. 69 at 5, 65 at 6. The polls close at 7 o'clock. 61, of course, Keith Urban starts at uh, 7 o'clock. So we're looking for the low 60s then as well. 56 at 9 and 52 at 11. So a perfect rodeo and concert and voting and Mardi Gras day. And it's probably National Something Day, but I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like the Holy Trinity. Things. We've got it happening today. <laughs> All right, Frank, thanks so much. And of course, as we said, today is primary election day. We do have volunteers for the League of Women Voters answering your questions right now from our KPRC2 lobby. You can give them a call at 713-778-8920. For Spanish, you can call 713-778-8930. And all the operators, again, are standing by. Give them a ring. Those polls are open till 7 tonight. Yeah, and uh, the phones uh, give those people something to chat about. There are some new changes yeah. in this year's election, so it is a very helpful team of volunteers we have. And if you have any questions, they're standing by to uh, respond. That is right. Happy Election Day. Happy Voting Day. Very important primary to vote in. Also, big news coming out of retailer Target. They are trying to stand out in the competitive job market. We've heard of the great uh, resignation, yeah. right, that's been happening. So a lot of retailers are working harder to get people to go work for them. Check this out. Mm -hmm. How about 24 bucks an hour at Target? That's some money. That is a big number to entice workers. This was happen would happen for employees at Target stores and distribution centers in places by like New York. It is all part of a company plan to spend an additional $300 million on its labor force, including improving access to health care coverage for its hourly workers. And Courtney, this isn't the first time Target has done something like this. You might recall back in 2017, they uh, promised to increase hourly wages to 15 bucks by 2020. They also reported uh, reported rather that turnover rate among employees is actually lower now than it was before the pandemic. Wow, yeah, that's incredible. So that's We've seen signing bonuses, of course, you know, at different retailers and things to entice workers. Um, but I think the longevity of keeping these people employed is giving them the higher wage as they continue. Yeah. You know, everybody's happy at Target. It's true. The, they're so happy. I've seen the Target lady on YouTube. I know. She's lovely. <laughs> she is lovely. <laughs> well, as we had said, it's like the perfect thing. Of course, it's, it's Fat Tuesday, but it's also Taco Tuesday. Hello, Houston Life and Taco Cabana. We have teamed up to provide lunch to hardworking members in our community. Earlier today, Joe Sam went out with tacos in hand and visited Star of Hope, a community dedicated to meeting the needs of homeless in our community with a focus on life management. And this week, they voted for Star of Hope. 
<laughs> delivery. And if you'd like to nominate a hardworking group to receive lunch for our next Taco Tuesday with Taco Cabana, visit HoustonLife.tv and fill out that submission form. A lot of happy faces there. Oh, yeah. I love a good Taco Tuesday. So yummy. Well, still to come from social media to junk food, even booze, we're chatting about what you're planning to give up during this Lenten season. Oh, I'm very curious to know what you're giving up, Courtney. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. Sleeping. Don't it's disturb a, him. It's a rough life. Well, Texas eyes are open, so oh, I think he's just relaxing. Not anymore. But, <laughs> now they're closed. Officially asleep, folks. Welcome back to Houston Life just before 3.08 p.m. Derek and Courtney here along with Joe Sam now. Welcome to Houston Life, Joe. Good to yeah, see you, Yeah, it's good to be here. I need to be like Tex. That's what I want to do. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. He's got a good life. He well, sure does. Don't take a nap on this because this is a very important subject happening. This is a big deal in our house. We've talked about this a lot. We're, of course, talking about the NBA lockout, mm. what's going on. This has been going on since December. And as opening day looms, right, March 31st is supposed to be opening day for right. baseball. Well, uh, they have until 5 p.m. tonight to come to an agreement here and, and get rid of the lockout. Uh, this is, of course, an owner-imposed lockout. Been going on since December 2nd. This is the ninth lockout in ML. LB history, of course, the last one, 94 95 season. What does this mean? So, we're thinking possibly this means canceling regular season, postponing opening day. In the meantime, though, left fielder for the Yankees, Joey Gallo, formerly with the Texas Rangers, got a little creative on LinkedIn. Check it out. He posted there in his caption and says, I'm new here. His skills say set striking is striking out, out <laughs> hitting into the shift, getting dressed weird. <laughs> I mean, you got to give it to him for being creative. You know, he's known for his basically all or nothing approach at the plate. Uh, he did not mention in his skill set of putting in massive dingers as one of his primary mm, skills. Very important. <laughs> in the last five seasons, he hit 35 or more home runs. Oh, wow. Wait, so opening day is supposed to be the 31st. And of if March. they can't reach an agreement, people are saying you can't change, you know, Christmas Eve. You can't change Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. How dare you even mess with our opening day? Well, you know, it's in <laughs> history, it has happened before, yeah. right? And so if they can't can't come to an agreement, you start back timing because the players aren't going to be ready. So they oh, wow. haven't reported, they haven't worked out, they're, you know, they're not ready. Yeah, the pressure so is on need, right now. They need to be ready. And so in order to keep that March 31st opening day, they need to come to an agreement. And if they don't, it'll be postponed and canceling and all these and other fans things will be very unhappy we know what happened so we need to make sure it happens 95 <laughs> yeah absolutely okay so we chat a lot on houston life about bad behavior on airplanes and you know last year 2021 was a record year yeah nearly 6,000 complaints and this isn't just people like drinking too much you well you can't legally drink on a plane anymore right now anyway um but actually Flight attendants getting assaulted. Yes, it's mm -hmm. getting yeah. punched in the face. Videos We're doing their job. Media. Yeah, so did you see Zach Lajway's piece on KPRC2? So now, crew members on planes, they're getting taught self defense. And these are being taught by air marshal instructors, essentially, treating um, a situation as active and live and showing these crew members. What to do? But can you believe we're at a place in the world where flight attendants have to be taught self-defense? I love that they're doing it because I see a lot of the videos on social media yeah. and it's heartbreaking to see all of these people attacking all of the flight attendants just for doing their job, what they're supposed to be there to do. And I know they're think thinking to themselves, I don't want to fight back because I want to keep my job, but I'm sorry, I would have been out of there. Well, <laughs> I would have had to throw a quick punch. In danger, you know? Yeah, you have to defend yourself, so flight I'm glad they're doing this. Getting their teeth knocked out and everything, they need to be armed, yeah, right? They wild. need to figure out how to handle those situations. Well, and Joe, what you said, they're just doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. They don't make these policies, especially like with masks and everything else that's changed over the past couple years. The flight attendants, they don't make the rules. They're just there to keep your, you safe and serve you some snacks. There was one video that I completely fell out over because they taped the passenger that was unruly. They duct taped him. Yeah. Duct taped him to his seat to where he could not move or do anything. Crazy that times. That had me cracking up. I loved it. Okay, I feel seen on this topic too. I've got an issue when it comes to changing my passwords. Mm. Anybody else? 
I, I, it takes me a while. And I mean, if if we're all the same, I have a feeling like we all kind of default to the same yep. password. Which right? they say you're not supposed to do, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. But here's some examples of like the dark web, the most common passwords that people use on the dark web. Number one coming in, here's the password, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> people actually do that? They do. Y'all, I have to be honest with you. I had to look this one up because I'm like, what does this even mean? Wordy? QWERTY. The keyboard. Never the keyboard. <laughs> Q-U or Q-W-E-R-T-Y. It's literally it's on the, a keyboard that we use every day. It's the top line on the left. Wow. How about password for your password? That seems very secure. <laughs> These are the most common passwords on the dark <laughs> web. it's easy. We need to get a little bit more creative. To remember. Well, and the thing is, I mean, I'm guilty of using the same password and log information across multiple websites. But the problem with that is then once the hacker gets, you know, cracks the code, then they can to log in. I think the else. hacker is just after one, like doesn't want to go to the other websites. <laughs> I have a really complicated <laughs> password, so my fingers are like hurting every time I have to put my password oh, in. Oh, that's good. I'm afraid it's super that I long. won't remember it. I have mine written down by memory. And then you know some of the sites that you're on, they make you change it every four months. So then like I here? just Yeah, so I just add on a I just add an explanation point. I'm every logging time. into all your stuff later today. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, happy Fat Tuesday. Yes. And this is great that you're here, Joe, because Fat Tuesday, essentially you should explain it, but it mm -hmm. falls on the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. Explain the significance for all of us because yes. so, Joe's from Louisiana in case you missed that. It's a huge celebration. So this is the time for everybody to get out there and party, get all of their festivities out. They usually throw a huge festival. As you can see back in New Orleans, there's parades that's going on. A lot of people have these huge feasts where they can eat anything that they want because you're going to be essentially giving things up for Lent. And that's going to be a 40 day long process until Easter Sunday to where you can finally get back to what you were doing. So you have to fast all that time. So you really want to get out there and have a good time on Fat Tuesday and get all of that out before you go ahead and do so. Now, I'm going to be giving up something for Lent, but I just don't know what it is just yet. Okay, well, you've got until midnight to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that brings us to our question of the day. We want to hear from you. What are you giving up for Lent? And we already have some great comments coming in. Let's go ahead and see Jennifer. She writes in right now. Facebook, this is one that a lot of people want to oh, give yeah. up. I have every year for the last few years. At first, it's really hard, but by the end, in debating about getting back on it or not. So yeah, so she gets used to not being on there, and then she has to fight. Okay, do I, should I get back on? Should I stay off? All right, we have Juan writing in, not giving up anything, <laughs> but I'm going to run at least a mile a day for the next 40 days. I and love that. it, yes, with the 5K, on 4-9. Oh, yes. that's awesome. That is Second great. Second annual I love race that, for the Dome. That one's good, Juan. Get ready for that. And we have um, the next one coming in from Williams. Bread. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. To stay those calories in. I can't do without all carbs, but I will try to cut down by giving up bread. I love bread. Oh, that's going to be a hard one. So good. I think I'm going to give up excessive spending. I did that um, once. Yeah. Yeah, it was difficult. <laughs> it was obsessive, though. Yeah. Um, getting on Amazon, buying things that I don't need, then going to Fashion Nova, buying things I don't need, then heading to Boohoo Man and buying things I don't need. So, right. Yeah. And then before you know it. Extracurricular spending. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I do every Lent season is the sweets. This, so I'm guessing you're bringing in the chocolate chip cookies tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to tease you with it and just have it hover. He does it every year. <laughs> it was an accident, Courtney. <laughs> Is it going to be an accident when you bake tonight? Oh, I oh. just fell into these chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Look, two dozen of them. <laughs> Can't oh. wait to put them under your nose. Well, I'll eat them for you, Courtney. I'll help you out with them. Derek, we have to find out what you're giving up for Lent. I don't know. I typically don't give anything up for Lent, but maybe sweets. Maybe I'll reduce them. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to keep all my sweets and stay away from the spending. <laughs> all right, you guys, we want you to head over to our Houston Life Facebook page. Join that conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. All right. When we come back, the gorgeous spring weather is right around the corner. Can you feel it? But men, will you be able to enjoy the outdoors? We'll meet the founder of an underwear brand launching in Houston. And get this, it promises to put an end to that awful chafing. All right, Lauren Kelly is sharing all the details for planning a fun family trip to Moody Gardens for spring break. Hi, Lauren. You guys were mentioning enjoying this magnificent weather. That's exactly what we're doing. Did you know that Moody Gardens has a golf course? All the fun that you and the whole family can have for spring break when Houston life returns. It's all in the hips. You guys know that Moody Gardens 
is so much fun, so many attractions for spring break for all the holidays down here in Galveston. Jerry Hamachek is here with me today. And you know what's really funny? I didn't even know that Moody Gardens had a golf course. This is just one of those attractions that is a sign from the pyramid, a sign from the rainforest that you might not even know existed. It's the hidden gym, right? It is. You know, this is one of the top 10 golf courses, public courses in the state of Texas. And if you come out to play, beauty of it is, you know, advanced players, beginners, we've got five sets of tees. So we're flexible with all able abilities to play. So you can go ahead and play with experienced people and, you know. Or you can play with me and we'll just ride the golf course around and we'll drive the pros, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and beautiful island setting. So a lot different than some other courses that are around. Let's so. mention some of those spring break activities that we were talking about just before we came back on the air. Yeah, you know, we've got uh, spring break adventures. So the learning doesn't always stop when spring break happens, but the good thing is we make it fun. So we use the attractions that we have and we have special uh, programs that are on our website. If you go to moodygardens.org, you'll see uh, the one of your choosing. And um, from nine till 12 in, uh, each morning during spring break, you can choose from different options. Have a little bit of fun, learn a little bit, and then you can go explore the rest of the afternoon or the rest of the week or whatever you're doing here. In and you can relax and not have to leave the property because coming up, Jerry, a little bit later on in the show, we're talking about these amazing hotel packages, which won't even have you leaving Moody Gardens. You can stay right here. This course is magnificent. Don't you go anywhere. Moodygardens.org for more info. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys in Studio B for now. Okay, Lauren, I'll take it from here. Thanks so much. Beautiful day for it. Well, shifting gears now, whether you're a guy who loves hiking, riding a bike, maybe golfing like Lauren was just now, walking or simply running around after your kids, chances are you've suffered from the brutal skin chafing reality of underwear. Don't worry, it's not a bad word, underwear. But that's why Step One founder and CEO Greg Taylor is joining us now to share why his underwear brand is Step One to saying goodbye to chafing. Greg, it's great to see you. So Step One, the name comes from Step One because putting on underwear is typically Step One for most yeah, of us. Yeah, well, like, what's what's the first thing you put on in the morning? So Step One underwear and Step Two life. So if you've got good, good underwear, then you can have a great life. And that was really the ethos of, of why I started the brand. So you noticed a problem uh, with, with a lot of underwear brands brands. Before you tell us how it all works, this business in four years has grown to become a $200 million online business. You have a huge following in the UK, in Australia. Tell us what makes your underwear different. Yeah, so it's, it's taken Australia by storm, it's taken the UK by storm, and, and now we've come to, to Texas, and, and particularly to Houston. Um, and what makes it different is that uh, three things really is that it, it stops chafing, it stops right up, and it stops sweat. So, so the fabric itself is actually made from organically grown bamboo, so it naturally wicks sweat away from the body. So when you're hot and you're sweaty, it, it pushes that the moisture away from your body, and keeps you dry all day long. Okay. Um, and then you can see there's some little black panels in between the legs and they're very unique to our product. And what they do is it's made by made from a, uh, a frictionless fabric. And what that does is that when you walk, um, being a big guy and a sportsman, uh, or a former sportsman I should say, um, I, I suffer from chafing. So these panels when you walk, it actually stops the chafing and means you glide. Um, and so that, that's really what makes the product unique in itself. So it's a, the bamboo fabric and the ultra glide panels, which is what's different. So we didn't want to just make a, a standard pair of underwear there's some very unique and functional aspects to it which makes it totally different well on the panels these are perfectly placed because any guy who's been active I think a lot of people can identify with the chafing issue specifically in that area you were on a hiking trip and uh, you had some issues. Tell us how, how the brand really came to your mind. Yeah, it's a very classic case of necessity's mother of invention. And I was hiking in New Zealand and, and as I said, with big legs, I was using creams and powders. And I thought there has to be a better way than continually doing this. So I, I got, got home, looked online and there wasn't a solution for this. So started innovating and that's how I started step one. And that's what's made it so successful is that it solves a functional problem that so many men out there suffer from. Yeah, and it's something we use and wear, most of us, many of us, every single day. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't, that's okay too. Everyone is welcome here. Uh, okay, let's talk about the 3D pouch up front as yeah. well. 
Okay, so yeah, and the pouches is, is really important, right? Because obviously we call it the crown jewels in Australia. I'm not sure what you call it here, but, but keeping comfortable is really important. And what this does, it's a piece of elastic. And what it does, it actually stretches. So it fits any guy perfectly. And what it does, it creates a layer of fabric, fabric between your leg and your anatomy. And that's what stops sweat down there. So it, it's specifically designed for men of any shape and any size. So it stretches uh, and fits every guy perfectly and then supports you all day long. Four years and two hundred dollar or two hundred million dollar business. I mean, valuation later. What are what are the plans for the company in the future? Future? Will you be making more than just underwear? Yeah. Look, the, the sky's the limit with this, right? And, and I think like to, to grow a business of over two hundred million dollars in four years shows that you've not only got a great product, but you've solved a functional problem that that works for so many people. And as I said, it, it's it's gone so well in Australia that we brought it to to America and particularly to Houston um, to to make it and to to show what the product is and, and for you guys to experience just how good step one underwear is. Even in hot and humid weather like we have in Houston. Okay, let's talk about bundle pricing because the more you buy, the cheaper they get. Yeah, absolutely. So so what we do is like the more you buy, the more you save is essentially how we do. But one of the uh, the key p points that people really love about the product is that it comes with a 30-day first pair guarantee. So love them or they're free. So if you get the wrong size, you can swap it out. And then after 30 days, if you don't like them for whatever reason, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So we do that along with our bundle pricing. So essentially, it's a risk-free purchase that you can try uh, underwear that's got over 50,000 five-star reviews, and you can try them for 30 days, and if you don't love them, send them back. No questions asked. But the thing is, you'll love them, and then you'll buy more. And today, that's a great bundle deal, but today, uh, Houston Life viewers can get 40% off their entire order, no minimums, correct? Absolutely. So no minimum. So we're doing it just for the first 500 customers that go to step1.life uh, and enter the, the promo code HOUSTON at the end of uh, at the checkout. So if you enter HOUSTON, you get 40% off the total basket, no minimums, and it's a great way for people to try the best underwear in the world. Yeah. All right, Greg Taylor, thanks so much for stopping by Houston Life. Appreciate it. Good Thank you for you. your time. Yeah, and we're glad you're launching here in Houston. In the meantime, if you would like more information or to snag that special offer to get 40% off, just visit, as Greg just said, step1.life. Now let's send things over to Joe Sam. Hey, Joe. Hey, Derek. Yeah, coming up, we'll meet the local fitness guru that's inspiring others after suffering a tragic accident. And, of course, we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4, including what you need to know if you're heading out to the polls this afternoon. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Hi everyone, welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you, just about 3.30. Yeah, time now to announce this week's winner for our T-Shirt Tuesday. The saying this week is, <laughs> this is a good one. It is a good one. Hurry up, we're burning daylight. This was sent in by KPRC2 insider Leanne Gaskill. Leanne, keep an eye on your mailbox because we will be sending these T-shirts your way. It's a good one for sure. Yeah. And if you want your saying on a future shirt, head to HoustonLife.tv to submit your favorite quote. There's some really good ones too. All right, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at the top of the hour. Hey, guys. Hey there. Hi. Yeah, speaking of t you know what? I want a T-shirt shirt that says I need ammo not a ride oh I need what I need ammo I need ammunition not a ride that's what the Ukrainian president, president said, said. yeah yeah when they when they said hey we can get you out of here <laughs> that you know, was all Russia over the internet yep. and, he, and he said I don't need ammo I need a, I, I don't need a ride I need ammo, ammo. yes yeah because he's saying I'm gonna stick I'm staying here I'm fighting for my yep. country that's so. right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that was he's all become quite a hero he's he has yes. else. Yeah. yeah just think a couple years ago he was an, uh, a comedian the comedian yeah yeah now he's leading the nation there's still hope for us. You know, if you live long enough, you'll see it all. Exactly. You know what? That's so true. That is That's so a true. saying too, Frank. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Submit that, please. <laughs> oh, 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 he's like, weather is here. Wish you were beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we need oh, you to weather rescue is us. beautiful. We, we need you to rescue us, Frank. I know. Listen, it's gorgeous out there, it isn't perfect. it? It is perfect. It is so beautiful. I mean, talk about a blue sky. Perfect week of rodeo continues. I've, temperatures at 70, 70 at Hobby, Sugarland 73, Galveston at 67. And Galveston, it's Fat Tuesday. Eat it all because you got to make all of those changes <laughs> if you you are so inclined tomorrow, 70 at 4, 68 at 5, 65, 62. So it's going to be a really nice evening just to chow out on this Mardi Gras. In the meantime, Keith Urban.
Sherman is in the house. 62 at 7. If you're headed that way, I'd grab a jacket because it's going to be cool. We learned last night I had a t-shirt on under my shirt. Thank goodness because when that sun goes down, this air is so dry. The humidity is like 20%. And so those numbers just really bottom out quickly. High pressure is going to continue to move off to the east. So we do get warmer as the week goes on. A little sea fog possible by Thursday morning. Clouds come in on Friday and then a rain chance. It's not a huge one, but it's at about 20% for Saturday and a little higher, maybe 30% with this front on Sunday. We're going to watch this front for next Monday. That could be a bit of a troublemaker. So enjoy what we have while we have it. Temperatures right there in the low 70s today, tomorrow, Thursday, even into Friday. 80s by Saturday. Ooh, I know. There we go. <laughs> Very good. All right, Frank, thank you. And here is a look at some of the other stories we're covering for you at 4 o'clock today. There have been some sporadic issues at polls in Harris County today, but we are told that those glitches are being handled. We're going to take a closer look at how things are going this afternoon. One of the big races we are covering today, the primary race for governor, the two front runners in incumbent Greg Abbott and Democrat Beto O'Rourke. We will have coverage from Fort Worth at O'Rourke's campaign headquarters and from Corpus Christi, where Governor Abbott supporters will gather. Plus in our Ask Amy report, investigator Amy Davis tackles the question of what happens if a utility repair crew damages your property. We're going to show you what you need to know. So a lot of good information coming up at 4 o'clock today, you guys. All right, we'll see you at 4. Okay. Sounds good. Well, All Inspired Fit is a new gym in the Heights that's giving people more than just a workout. Yeah, Joe Sam found out how the owners are lifting their client spirits and helping them achieve their goals. Hi, Joe. Hey, Darren K. Courtney. Yeah, with dozens and dozens of gyms to choose from here in Houston, the clients at this gym say they found a space with purpose, giving real meaning behind the name All Inspired. Hi, my name is Ronnie Bookman. I'm the owner of All Inspired Fit. All Inspired was started because we really saw a need in the fitness market and it was really a niche that we saw that we can tap into and just inspiring people. The ground. There you go. Good. Right down, good. Right back up. The name Inspire goes deep because I suffered from an eye injury. I was shot in the eye with a pellet gun in the eighth grade, so my eye was actually taken out, and this is actually a prosthetic. So can you imagine being a young kid, a young boy, dealing with depression and your eye is messed up? And so I went to a really dark place, but fitness is the one thing that brought me out. And so the name All Inspire runs deep with me because inspiration is deep, is more than motivation. Motivation comes and goes, but inspiration stays. Sit back in the chair. Good, perfect. There you go. Shoulders roll back, chest up. Good. You can be 25 or you can be our age, <laughs> right? In the end, it's about getting fit and staying fit. They make it fun and everybody is always laughing and that's part of working out is using your stomach muscles to laugh. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Good. There you go. Two nice easy eight reps. Good. Three. Obviously there's days when I'm tired, there's days when I'm not feeling it and not want to go, but when I think about my family, I think about the things that we bring and inspire the clients, that's what gets me going, that's what keeps me going. So faith and family is really big and it's really big in the atmosphere of All Inspire Fit. We're a family, more than a gym. The gym is secondary, the family is first. And we consider ourselves a fit family. One more. One, good, breathe out. Breathe out when you come up. Two, good, two more. All Inspire is a dynamic group training facility. So we focus on the camaraderie and we focus on people being able to come in and being driven by one another and also getting a really good workout. But we also want to create a non-threatening atmosphere but still intense enough to where you can reach your fitness goals and push your limits. It's never the perfect moment. If you sit and wait for the perfect moment, perfect opportunity, it'll never come. You have to create the perfect opportunity. And that's what we had to do and that's what we did. Yeah, All Inspired Fit offers one-on-one -on -one group trainings, lift and cardio boxing to learn more about the gym and its services. I have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. I love when he said that motivation can come and go, but mm -hmm. inspiration stays. Yeah. That's what he keeps telling his clients that go there every single day. And the older women that's there, or shall I say younger women that's there, they look great. They have some guns on they themselves. They do. Right? Very impressive. <laughs> the endorphins when you're working out, and I think, too, him sharing his story and, and, and really that injury. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. um, could have kept him down, yeah. and he decided to see the positive, which is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. Never the perfect moment. You have to create that opportunity. Absolutely. I, I love that when people find that dark moment that they have in their life, and they use that as the fuel that they need to keep going, yeah. that's exactly what he did, because like you said, he could have given up, but yeah. he went through bullying and all these different types of depression that people were throwing at him when he was younger, but he did not take that. He found the love of fitness, and look at him now. Fantastic. So Fire in the belly. Yes. Great story, Joe. Mm -hmm. When we come back, y'all ready for a sweet treat? Oh, yeah. I am. We're talking to Ben Van Leeuwen of Van Leeuwen Ice Cream about how it all started. Oh, my gosh. That looks so good. <laughs> but first, let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's got a perfect way to keep the family entertained for spring break. Hi, Lauren. You guys, I'm still working on my swing here at the Moody Gardens Golf Course. Coming up, we are talking all about these amazing hotel packages that you and the whole family can enjoy for spring break, which is just a couple of weeks away, while I continue to work on my golf swing. It's really just a putt and, and uh, hey, hey, the hole's there somewhere, you guys. Houston Live will be right back. <laughs> You guys know that this year, Moody Gardens Spring Break, it's all about experiencing life. We want you to get back out and enjoy the things, you know, maybe pre-pandemic. Come out here and enjoy. look at this beautiful day. It's magnificent. And Jara Hamachek, she's the marketing director here at Moody Gardens. We've been talking all about the different things that you can do. And my favorite part about Moody Gardens is there's something for all ages. It's not just for only kids. It's not just for only adults. I didn't even know there was a golf course, Jerry. So <laughs> let's talk about some of the other things, including a new 4D theater movie right there. Yeah, and a point of reference here because the weather seems to change with us daily. Yes. Um, indoors and outdoors, we have things for you to do. So we have several new films. We have Wings Over Wa Water 3D. Uh, the focus is on bird migration that comes through here this time of year and throughout the country. And then we also have Sea Lions 3D. And then we also have Mowgli in the 4D theater. So if you haven't had a 4D experience before, it's a 3D experience, but inside the theater there's... Um, uh, you get a little wind in your face. There's seats that rumble, leg ticklers. So you so really, oh, look, leg ticklers. Okay, you had me at leg ticklers. <laughs> it really feels like you're in the theater. Engage but with all your <laughs> Most of all, I want to mention the amazing hotel packages because once you're down here, uh, I want our viewers to know that the hotel here at Moody Gardens is outstanding. It really is great. Yes, we have a lot of fun poolside there. We have a swim up bar. You can hang out on a sunny day, but we also have an indoor pool. We have packages with golf course options. We have ticket options with our hotel. Uh, hotel packages we have a great spa so we've got casual fine dining and you know you can explore all the different attractions the aquarium the 3d theater the 4d theater the rainforest pyramid discovery museum we also have a dinosaurs alive exhibit oh for spring break so all kinds of ways that you can experience life through all of our different attractions in our property and like we mentioned indoor outdoor is great because even the rainforest in that pyramid you're completely covered so even on a really cold or even rainy day you're not going to be having to experience those elements and also you can't forget about the penguins jerry don't forget about the penguins there too <laughs> absolutely so you can explore everything inside the aquarium pyramid and we've got different package options for awesome. you for individual tickets or a value pass or even an annual membership to oh. enjoy all the attractions all you won't year. regret any of that jerry thank you so much for the info moodygardens.org again for all the info i'm going to continue to work on this golf swing courtney because clearly i I can't leave on a miraculous day like this looking like such a bad golfer. You don't. You look <laughs> fabulous. You, you look fabulous. Thank you. I'm a little overdressed for the course, but we'll work on that too. Never. Hit the links, Lauren. <laughs> I love it. Great spot too. Well, you know, gone are the days of just eating vanilla ice cream. Look, I'm not knocking it. I like it too. Now we all just want some interesting flavors, right? Like Earl Grey tea, honeycomb. How about Kraft macaroni and cheese? Yes, that is an ice cream flavor. And it's not terrible. It's actually pretty good. I'm getting the scoop on Van Leeuwen ice cream with Ben Van Leeuwen. I was 18 years old. I was about to graduate from high school. I needed a summer job. I saw an ad in the newspaper that said drive an ice cream truck. I ended up renting an ice cream truck, selling ice cream in Connecticut where I grew up. I did this for three summers, and this was a good humor ice cream truck. So now what I would consider much lower quality ice cream than what we do. But that gave me a taste of the mobile vending business. We bought a used post office truck on eBay for $5,000, retrofitted it into an ice cream truck, started with 10 flavors, and 
Yeah, here we are. But it wasn't all ice cream and sprinkles. The trio hit a major roadblock the first day in business. We were so excited. I mean, it was so much work to get to that point. We had these extraordinary flavors of pistachios from Bronte Sicily, chocolate from Michelle Cozell, strawberries ripened in the sun in Oregon, and this really, this truck that we thought looked so cool. And we drove around New York City for three or four hours. We tried five different spots and not a single person came up to our truck. And it was mid-June, it was 85 degrees sunny. I mean, this was ice cream weather. And they could have given up, but they found another spot and found success. So at this point, we were saying, you know, if, it, if it's not working in this, like, that's it. We screwed up. Um, finally, we found a spot that worked. You know, and this was a, a first day struggle. Right. But that first little bit of success, that first line of people who came to the truck and who were really excited about the quality of product we were selling um, gave us the sort of fuel to keep going and keep working. And then Lewin took off. Since 2008, they've grown to 26 scoop shops across New York, LA, Philly, and Houston. Wow, look at all that. And their secret to success? Really, really good ice cream. It's not rocket science. We use really good ingredients. We have simple formulas with lots of cream and lots of eggs. We our vegan ice cream, cashews, coconuts, and lots of fat. Okay, so many choices here. I have to tell you, this blood orange creamsicle I've had, it's delicious, but I'm gonna go in here and try the blue jasmine tea. Oh my God. It's so good. I'm gonna try this one now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. Can I get a go Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't just have one. I have to tell you, you're hooked. I love hearing the story about how he was so interested in ice cream or making money in the summer, and that's kind of how it all started with him when he was 18. But, um, you know, whenever Van Leeuwen opens up a new scoop shop, they partner with local chefs to come up with their own flavor. And Chef Hugo Ortega uh, did a horchata one when Uptown Park opened up. The latest flavor is by Chef Christine Ha, and um, this is what we have here, and it's called Bananas for cheese. It is so good. It is her flavor inspired by her childhood snack, banana slices with laughing cow cheese. The cheese blend of Gouda and mascarpone blended with banana jam and milk chocolate chip chunks. This is at the Montrose location. What I love about their flavors, mm. Mm. you do taste the cheese. Yeah. I mean, it does, you, it almost has like a salty mm. vibe to it, but you get the sweet with the chocolate. Same with the, the Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's not terrible. People are, no, it's, it's not, good. It's really, right? really, really good. So check them out. So good. If you can't make it to the scoop shops, you know, the pints and the bars are sold at our friends at HEB. Wow. And, of course, they do partner with these local chefs, so it's super cool. Um, and it's just, it's lovely. I mean, this this whole flavor in Christine Haas, by the way, you know, she is nominated for a James Baird Award. And that is well-deserved. You know, the Blind Goat downtown at Bravery Chef Hall, it is one of our favorite restaurants in Houston. This is so good. Mmm. Sweet snack. It is very nice. All right, I'm going to pause from the chewing to tell you what's coming up. How about this? From working with Dolly Parton to their inspirational new album, brothers Joel and Luke Smallbone, Australian duo known as For King and Country, they'll chat with us ahead of their big Rodeo Houston performance happening Thursday. Oh, I have to read now. Mm -hmm. Houston Life is right back. <laughs> Such a great track. That was a clip of Relate, one of the latest tracks from four-time Grammy Award-winning contemporary Christian pop duo for King and Country. The Aussie brothers, known for their inspirational message, are gearing up for their Rodeo Houston debut, and they are joining us now, Joel and Luke Smallbone. Welcome to Houston Life. That track is so good. Uh, another number one Billboard hit, I understand? That's what we're told. That's what we're told. It's uh, man, you know, you just realize that behind every 
uh, sort of uh, number one or award that there is a, you know, there's a human, there's a soul, there's someone with a pair of AirPods or maybe Android user. I, I, I don't know many Android users, but uh, that that listens to these tracks and and makes them their own and that's just in that a, that's sort of a profound thing that leads you to incredible places like the houston rodeo that, i feel like now we know we've made it you know in, in america well playing the houston rodeo you're in good company when you play the houston livestock show and rodeo stage you are in very good company because it's sort of known as the star maker stage uh let's chat about that because you guys tour the world i know you have fans all over the place you're accustomed to playing to sold out shows um but you were telling me during commercial break you've never quite done anything like this like rodeo so uh how how you about feeling about that I think that we feel very, very honored uh, to be, you know, to be able to perform, uh, you know, such a, a, a special, special event. And so when it comes to our, how we feel and are we ready, man, I mean, look, in, in music, the, the joy of what we get to do is, you, yeah, you're always ready for a, a new adventure. And I think that uh, we're ready and, and, and very excited to experience something new with you all at the uh, Houston Rodeo. Well, we're excited to have you back because it's just been a minute since you were down at Toyota Center for your Christmas tour. Uh, when was Christmas? A couple months ago, I guess. So you're here before that, early December. Let's talk about some of your highlights because collaborations with people like Dolly Parton, Timbaland, Tori Kelly. I mean, it, it truly is incredible the legends you've been able to work with. Hmm. Man, I think that if you would have told me before I started out music that we would get to to work with just the list that you uh, 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 that you listed up, I would be like, "Man, you're a liar. This is not in this is not in the cards yeah. for Luke." You know, and so in some in most cases, I think that you're just honored and flattered that these people that have been approached that we asked, you know, like for instance, Dolly Parton, like the fact that Dolly would would want to come and join us on one of our songs, you know, one of the all time great songwriters legend as a, as an artist as a person and i'll never forget we were just the clip that you were showing of that music video uh, my my wife and kids came to, to obviously meet dolly and we're sitting there and i was intrigued to see how she was going to handle the situation what she was like and she uh the, the family comes up and she she looks at them all and she said would you be okay if you get a picture with me Aww. and you realize some of these people that you work with that are like bucket list people they're good people. They're people that yeah. you want to know, and they're yeah. people that that are genuine and genuinely kind. And so, you know, our experience with working with some of these these all time greats has been nothing but a, a treat. And uh, I think that you can always learn so much from these people that have that have gone before us. And, and in particular for Dolly, she was certainly one of those. Yeah. Well, I'm so no glad doubt. to hear that. No she doubt. she truly is a legend. Okay, we're out of time, but I do want to remind people that you have a brand new album coming out March 11th. Perfect timing. So this is right after you play yeah. the rodeo. And I know that some of the singles are already out. I mean, it's it's amazing to me the amount of streams more than 1 billion on demand streams y'all have been able to rack mm. up i mean most most artists just dream of hitting a million right but you guys are in the billions with a b it's incredible and uh where can people download and buy your music everywhere right yeah well well um thank god for streaming platforms uh we are on all of those uh you can go to our website for keyandcountry.com we managed to secure that url and uh you can get all of our touring information there we'd love to see you at the rodeo and we uh, who knows we might even just play a, a, a few new songs off the album uh for you there as well so uh man we're gonna we're not gonna put our cowboy hats on even though i feel like a, we have a right because we're australians but we are going to uh spend an hour singing uh music with you so that's it's be a good a great tease night. that is a very good tease can't wait to see you guys on stage next thursday at the houston livestock show and rodeo joe and luke joel and luke smallbone it's great to see you both Hey, Thank thanks for the time, man. And a reminder yeah. that for King and Country's brand new album, What Are We Waiting For, will be out March 11th everywhere music is bought and streamed. And if you'd like to grab your tickets for their show at Rodeo, we do have a link on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back.
up tomorrow on Houston Life. From the stage of TCU to Broadway, we are chatting with one of the stars of Hamilton about his upcoming performances in his hometown. Houston is also home to season 19 of Bravo's Top Chef, and I'm taking you behind the scenes where I caught up with the judges on what to expect this season premieres on Thursday. We are so excited for this season premiere, and Bravo has been teasing us with so many little video clips previewing the season, so check them out online. We both posted them to Facebook earlier. We did. It's going to give you chills. It's amazing. Let's get more responses to our question of the day. Earlier, we asked you, what you giving up for this Lenten season? Let's start with Tommy, who writes in, baseball, apparently Aww. not be by choice, though. That is right. No deal has been reached. Not yet. Still an hour left, right? Ralph writes in, alcohol, Texas barbecue, pizza, chocolate, sweets, coffee. Wow, that's a long list, Ralph. Hmm, I pray I can uh, just pray really hard and be more patient with Houston drivers when I'm on the road. Amen. Well, I'm headed to the rodeo, so you know where I'm going to get a funnel cake and anything else sweet so I can just get it all in. How about a fried uh, Snickers bar? Whatever. I'll line up and fried take them Oreo? all. Fried Oreo? Yep. Have a couple for me tonight. I will. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Okay, we'll see you back tomorrow. In the meantime, we'll hand it off to Keith and Christine in Studio A. Hey there, guys. You know, you have inspired me. I might I might give up soda. I don't know. It's, it's, soda that's, pop? That, that's a crutch, a crutch of mine. Yeah, hey, well, yeah you got to find a sacrifice oh, somewhere. Yeah. Could get it in one last day. I, I can drink all the cans I want to. Right? <laughs> I'll try to give up coffee, but I need to think about it. That's a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Try something else. For everyone involved, that's right? Up <laughs> try something else. Okay, okay. It doesn't impact Next. everybody. Done. I will think about it and pray about oh. it. <laughs>